This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. The top ranked basketball cats looking to make it eight straight wins over the Mississippi State Bulldogs last night on the road. Let's get down to Starkville. It was a snowy one down in Starkville, Mississippi, Kentucky, taking on Mississippi State. The Wildcats doing what they do best, defense and dunks. Car Anthony Towns with the block and then the transition lob by Andrew Harrison to Troy Lyles. He throws it down. Cats by two. More inside scoring now. Not as exciting, though, Aaron Harrison. Open lane. It doesn't matter if it's exciting. It's two points. Following another block by Towns, this one is exciting. Tyler Eulis uh, to Carl Towns. <laughs> Kentucky by 18. Take another look at this one. Yeah, that's a big boy right there. Then there's this. Aaron to twin brother Andrew. Oh, my goodness. The backdoor lob, the one-handed slam, and the Cats are really rolling. A ah, good measure will throw in a Devin Booker three-pointer as Kentucky improves to 28-0 on the season. 74-56 the final over Mississippi State. Meanwhile, the Kentucky men are enjoying success, but the UK women not so much. They are on a downfall, losing three straight conference games. That makes them 8-6 and six in league play. They were upset by... Ole Miss on Monday, and now they are in Arkansas tonight. Head coach Matthew Mitchell says it is a tough stretch for his team, but he says he hopes it helps them grow. Difficult to play um, two of your last three on the road uh, uh, in the same week. You know, it's a, it's a unique challenge, but uh, it's good for this team so they can uh, fight through some adversity. We're, you know, in the um, midst of, of some poor results and we just have to really, really fight right now for a great attitude and positive attitude. And um, I think that's uh, what, what will get us where we need to be is just getting our mindset right. High school basketball games were limited last week, but we were still able to find a player of the week on the girls' side. Johnson Central junior Jayla Spurlock helped lead the Lady Eagles to a win over Crosstown rival Paintsville last week, scoring 18 points, pulling down seven rebounds. She shot just shy of 54% from the floor and connected on three of her four three-point attempts. Now in Johnson Central's district tournament win uh, this past Tuesday night over McGoffin County, Spurlock scored seven points and grabbed seven Boards. Our teams of the week, a couple of Tigers, Jackson City and Barberville. The Lady Tigers beat Buckhorn last week 49 to 28 to win their fourth consecutive game to end the regular season. The Lady Tigers beat Wolf County earlier this week to advance to the finals of the 55th District Tournament. On the boys' side, Barberville beat Oneida Baptist 75 to 69 to close out the regular season with a win. The Tigers will open their district tournament play up on Friday against Pineville. Well, speaking of district tournaments, how about some highlights? to the high school hardwood heading out to Pike County for the girls 60th district first round. Here we go. Phelps and Belfry. We'll enjoy some coaching ISOs. All right, nice ball movement by the Lady Hornets early on. Hannah Blankenship towing the line. That doesn't matter. Jumper is good. Phelps with the early lead. The Lady Hornets made the first six points of the game in this one. There is Sierra Sensel knocking down the jumper. Belfry finally gets on the board after nearly six scoreless minutes. Kaylee Rash's three balls good. She finished with eight, and Belfry secures a spot in the 60th District Championship. They win it 52 to 19 over the Lady Hornets. Mr. Hornet himself, Marty Casey, and the Phelps fighting Marty Casey's uh, taking on Pike Central in the 60th District. They, uh, Marty's an extremely good text messenger, by the way, always keeping us informed in the sports office. Hawks working it inside early. That's Brad Elkins in the corner. He swishes it. Three-pointer. Phelps hanging with Pike Central though early. Steven Prater. That's good. But Pike Central pulls away from Phelps. 86 to 59. The final score. That's first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.